Okay, are you listening? We are back again. Yes, sir. Good. So we'll go about, to, now this topic is about solution, okay? So we need to understand what is mixture. Mixture is a combination of two or more substances that do not combine chemically, but even the same individual substance can be separated by physical means. The two types, heterogeneous and homogeneous. Hetero means different, okay? This consists, uh, like heterogeneous mixture, okay? Hetero means different. Consist of visibly different substance or phases. Could be solid, liquid, or gas. Can be separated by filtering. Example, you can see this is a mixture, okay? You can separate by your hand directly. And homo means the same, has the same uniform appearance. And composition throughout maintains one phase. Could be solid, liquid, or gas. Commonly referred as solution. Okay, like salt water. The salt water is salt is mixed with water. Okay, and this is actually homogeneous mixture. Solution a mixture of two or more substance that is identical throughout homogeneous, can be physically separated, composed of solutes. So uh, the solution has two things. One is solutes and another is solvents. The substance being dissolved, a solute, the substance that dissolves the solute is known as solvents. So here you can give example, the tea is mixed with water. So tea is a solute, the water is solvent, and the tea mixed with water is the solution. So solution, the solvent is the largest part of the solution, and the solute is the smallest part of the solution. So you can understand that the solution has two parts. One is solvent, and the other is solute. The largest part is the solvent, and the smaller part is solute. So these types of solution, like gaseous solution, like air, oxygen, and nitrogen, could be like solution gases, like liquid solution, mix uh, plus water, solid solution, like alloys, steel and brass. So these are the types of solution. Now you need to know the concentration. What is concentration? The amount of solute dissolved in a solvent at a given temperature, described as dilute if it has a low concentrate of solute dissolved. Described as a concentrate, if it is as a high concentration of solute. So that means this ratio, the concentration is the amount of solute dissolved in a solvent at a given temperature. Is it clear to you? No, sir. Okay. So could be dilute concentrate, like the previous one you can see, this is a dilute concentration, and this is concentrated concentration. So we need to know about this concentration actually. Hmm? Unsaturated has a less than the maximum concentration of solute dissolved. That is known as unsaturated. Saturated has the maximum concentration of solute dissolved. You can see solid in the bottom of solution. And supersaturated contains more dissolved solute than normally possible. Usually it requires an increase in temperature followed by cooling. So there is a super saturated. There are three types of this concentration. Solubility. The amount of solute that dissolves in a certain amount of a solvent at a given temperature and pressure to produce a saturated solution. That is known as solubility. Factors affecting solubility of solids. This is temperature is one of the more things Increased temperature causes solids to dissolve faster. Then shaking. You know, when you shake, hesitate, that can also cause solids to dissolve faster. Smaller particles dissolve faster because they have a more surface area. So this particle size, the temperature, shaking, and particle size. These are the three things. Increasing the amount of solute does not increase the rate of dissolving. So immiscible liquids can easily dissolve in, in one another. Immiscible liquids are not soluble in each other. 
now molarity what is molarity i think you already learned these things the molarity normality in your undergraduate not in your hsc level or a level courses but still we need to discuss these things molarity is the concentration of a solution expressed in moles of solute per liter of solution molarity is conversion factor for calculation so molarity moles of solute in liters of solution like if you think what is the mole of sulfuric acid do you have any idea what is the molecular weight of sulfuric acid 90 98 so, okay so that means if 98 gram sulfuric acid is dissolved in 1 liter of solution that is known as molarity is it clear so molarity means mole solute by liter solution example what is the molarity of solution that has 2.3 moles of sodium chloride in 0.45 liter of solution so 2.3 moles of sodium chloride and the solution is 0.45 if you calculate you will find like 5.1 m sodium chloride so molarity mole solution and structure example how many moles of sodium carbonate are there in 10 liter of two molar solution okay so you can calculate that in one mole it should be like two molar and then 10 liter is 10 into 2 so that means 20 moles of sodium carbonate is there dilution the formula to make a more dilute solution from a concentrated solution this is the formula if it is more concentrated and you have to make it dilute after this is the formula molarity into volume is equal to molarity into volume 2 concentrated before is equal to dilute after so m1 into v1 is equal to m2 into v2 i think you know this thing in from your a level class yes sir okay so how many liters of 2.5 m hcl are required to make 1.5 liter of 1 mole hcl how many liters of you have a 2.5 molar hcl solution and now you have to make 1 molar hcl solution how can you make can you do this so you can practice these things i will not go it here all these things okay i think there is a lots of maths are there you can understand i will give you some example not everything will be written here yeah, there is some other example here okay now i want to give you some math okay so now if i say 3% sodium chloride solution okay now you can say how much it is gram per liter can i do this you can do the calculation and uh, say me 3% sodium chloride so that means how many gram per liter uh, 30 gram per liter 30 gram per liter 30 gram okay so this is easy now if i said 4% sodium hydroxide what is the molarity of that sir 1 one good so we have to do this type of math okay in your uh, practical notebook and also you need to write so we discuss about uh, molarity okay now i will talk about normality so molarity you find that one mole in one liter solution so now i is uh, what is normality you have any idea anybody has any idea what is normality normality means one gram equivalent of weight in molarity we found that on molar weight but in here we will find one gram equivalent so what does mean by gram equivalent you have any idea
টোটাল পারমাণবিক আণবিক ভরকে স্যার প্রতিস্থাপন যোগ্য হাইড্রোজেন দিয়ে ভাগ করলে স্যার যেটা পাওয়া যায় স্যার ওকে यस সো দ্যাট मींस ইফ দে দ্যাট রিঅ্যাকশন ক্যান বি রিঅ্যাক্ট উইথ হাইড্রোজেন অর ইউ ক্যান রিপ্লেস দ্যাট হাইড্রোজেন লাইক ইফ ইউ সে H2SO4 সো দ্যাট मींस H2SO4 হ্যাজ টু H সো দ্যাট मींस ইট ক্যান বি ডিভাইডেড ইনটু টু বাট নাও ইফ ইউ টেক অ্যাসিডিক অ্যাসিড হোয়াট ইজ দ্য ফর্মুলা অফ অ্যাসিডিক অ্যাসিড CH3CWH how many as hydrogen is here four. four so shall i divide it into four no sir why it a replaceable hydrogen actor sir one yeah replaceable hydrogen in one so this is why it is important you should know about this normality molarity and this okay and you can practice this and then we will ask you some question okay now i will go another question ppm do you have any idea about ppm parts per million yeah that is the thing so now if i said 1 ppm okay can you say how many milligram per liter 1 1 milligram okay then how many gram per liter zero बायोटेक I think I already teach you this about the solution in your one one class, and that is also important when you come in this university and you have exam in your one one exam. That time these are important for you as well in theory and practical both. But for agriculture and for veterinary faculty, this is important for their practical course. Is it clear? Another one one exam, did you sir? Do you have any question? Sir, our one-one exam sir, did you have sir? Yes, 